Hello everyone, April 2nd, Salinas, California, my backyard, trying out a new camera and using it as an excuse to record my backyard so that I can look at this later. Trying to learn how to use the video features on my camera. Ah, there we are. It seems to be working better. This is a apricot tree. Um, anybody who's been following my videos knows that I have multiple tr fruit trees in the backyard that are only on probably three years. So we haven't really had much fruit on them in the past, but uh, now we're um, hoping this year will be the year. This is my apricots, four different varieties on here. I need to put some nice tags on here and get them so that they're I can tell who's what. And then over here, we had a really good plum season last year. Well, pretty good. I anticipate that it's going to be amazing this year because yes, last year's was good. But you can see they're starting to come out. Come out and... And, um... Give us some nice plums. We have four different varieties of plums. And it's, these are dwarf trees. I wanted them to be dwarf. I don't eat that much fruit. Down over here is our cherries. I had two cherries last year. So I'm really looking forward to this because I love cherries. And you can see that the blossoms are on the tree. And they're going to be really great once they get going. This has only got three different kinds of cherries on here. And in the backyard, you can see it's overrun with California poppies, which are wild. I am in, in California. Once you um, plant one or two of these little guys, they takes a year or two and they're everywhere. Same with the alyssum. That's this white plant right here. This has been just absolutely crazy in my backyard for years. I have just stone little rocks paved, you know, down on the ground so it can go anywhere. I don't have any paths or anything like that. This year I took a lot of plants out of pots and put them in, took the plants and put them around the trees. As you can see, I've added some stalks and that kind of thing here. But I didn't anticipate that the California poppies were going to grow so much that <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see the plants. I have a hyacinth over here. Let me pull back. And a couple hyacinths that actually bloomed, but because they were outside, I didn't get the beautiful smell. I should have pulled them up and put them in a pot and brought them in the house or something. But they were a beautiful purple color and they smelled really incredible when they were out here blooming, but I guess I could have cut them or something. What else we got out here in the backyard? Let's see. Well, my orange trees are still going along. I haven't really eaten any oranges off of here because they're just too tart. I have a few different varieties. I was told that there's things I can do to make the oranges taste better. Right now I think I'm keeping them just because I love the smell of the orange blossoms when they bloom as you can see right here. These are the orange blossoms are incredible and I really do have a lot of plants just for smell I think. My blueberry bushes did really well last year and I think they're going to continue doing well because now we have a little more rain and it did much better over here. There are some blueberries coming in. Uh, pink jasmine, one of my favorites because of course it smells so good and it grows so big and it's, it's, I just, if I could have a bed of these and just lay inside them, I think I would be really happy. The great thing about pink jasmine, I guess it's called pink jasmine because of, I assume because the, um, of these little guys, um, is that I have star jasmine also and it blooms off of each other. So like pink jasmine will bloom and then after it stopped blooming, we'll get uh, the star jasmine and will come out. And so I have beautiful smells in the backyard all times of the year. I've trailed this bit of pink jasmine in front of one to the other so that I can have it in front of my office window, the war room. I have some blackberries that I'm going to start actually watering. <laughs> and we have a pile of freesias that I really meant to divide and, and by the time I realized that I needed to get these things divided 
um, the season was they're already starting to blossom so now they're almost starting to fade and I've cut a few and brought them in the house and, and again another flower that smells amazing freesias then you can see my flower sunflower sun thing that is starting to be overgrown and I have some roses my compost piles are back here let's see what else is in my backyard let's see if I can get this to focus right it's always a cat. I wonder which cat's out here today. Oh, it's Ariadne. Hi, Ariadne. She's a little squeamish. I don't know why, for some reason. But um, she doesn't want to do her thing. Here's one of my favorite plants, and I had to buy it from the... Oh, there she is. Look at the good girl. Hi, Ariadne. She's what? 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 Say hi, everybody, to Ariadne. So, um, this is one of my favorite plants. I can't seem to grow it in... I've got a little bit. I've bought some seed and I did try to grow it, but it's Lobelia. The dark blue is my favorite. Absolutely love that flower so much. Here she is again. Yeah. I've got some tomatoes that I bought from the nursery. Ah, oh, she just rolled over and I missed filming it. <laughs> it's just really nice and warm outside today. But um, I planted some tomatoes. I've got a whole bunch of different varieties this year. Um, one of my favorite tomatoes to grow is called Caspian Pink, and I don't have one this year. They, they grow huge, they're meaty, and everybody I give them to says I absolutely adore those tomatoes. Everything that I grow seems to be, tomato-wise, everybody says they absolutely adore. They say, oh my gosh, there's so much flavor. I guess that's true for, for anything you grow um, from, you know, in your house instead of at the grocery store. So I would suggest people really start growing your own vegetables. It's so wonderful. And I put in some more peppers. For the last two or three years, I've had peppers that turned into annual peppers. And so I've added a few. I've actually got like a bunch. I think one of them's a ghost pepper. Sterling's going to freak out when he sees that because <laughs> they're so hot. But I have a bunch of different peppers I've planted yesterday. This over here is a Joseph's Coat rose. I used to have a lot of roses and kind of got rid of them because they're, they're a lot to maintain. And they are beautiful cut flowers, but they're all right outside. But this is called Joseph's Coat, and it's because it blooms in many different colors, like Joseph's Coat from the Bible, where it bloomed in many different colors. Up here is a Cecile Brumer. Of course, I'm going to say it wrong. Cecile Brumer. And this grows all over the place. It's kind of, I think it's an old rose. Old tea rose, I think they say. It has a light, nice smell as well. And it is growing into a large bush I have back here. I'll show you whenever I back up. And back in here is my compost piles that are kind of hidden. And over here is my grape pergola that I do a always have a party in September whenever whenever it's all fully bloomed and then inside there's my pool table back over here is a peach tree and we had nothing on it last year and this is going to be its year I just know it I it's, I feel it in my bones that we're going to have peach peaches this year some nice lovely juicy peaches we have three varieties on this Let's see if we can get it to focus right three varieties of peaches there we go and you know I don't know one from another so well so I decided that that's why I went and did several different varieties on one because it's not a lot of people eating them here at our house and what else can I show you that would be interesting I hope um, I'm gonna do some more planting. I have some more flowers and, oh, there she is again. I have some flowers I need to, to plant. The lobelia and a couple more tomatoes. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'm going to put some tomatoes. I have a few more tomatoes to put in. Lobelia. Oh, I have a columbine, which is a pretty light blue flower that I bought. When I go to the store, I have to buy more plants. Sterling says there's something wrong with me. And I talked to him on the way home. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with me. 
Oh, I brought strawberries this year. I read a report that strawberries, all the berries, are actually really, really good for you. <laughs> I, I do know that the berries are good for you, so I, I brought some strawberries. I need to put them in a pot like these because um, when I put them in the ground, they just get eaten alive and, and that kind of thing. So I, I put them in the pots, and I'm put them in some places, get some nice warmth. And I have strawberries. I have a cucumber or two, a squash, I believe. This is my hens and chicks. One of the first plants I ever learned what they were. Let me see. The focus on that, right? We had these when we were growing up. Um, I didn't realize they were from Mexico. I guess that's what they're from. But um, I always have loved these. The idea of having a mother hen and then having little babies underneath when you're a child. That was just such a charming story to think of the the mama um, sitting on the eggs of the of the baby and they're just really fun you can pull these off and put them in some water and they'll last for a while the, the succulents really getting into succulents now I, I the last year really enjoying them and uh, you can see the California poppies that are going to come into these pots that I have here so I've started changing out the way I grow things where I used to put um, everything in pots and then I kind of moved to things in the ground and then now I'm kind of in a little both ways because I'm not sure, sure what I want to do with all the plants I have and how I want to grow them. So anyway this is a look at my backyard April 2nd 2017 and a little experiment with how I can use my camera video hopefully the quality is really good because I'm really hoping for that and um, we'll see what the garden looks like in a few months. We should have lots of produce on it and, the, and I think the poppies will be gone and then we'll be on to the next plant, whatever it is, taking over my backyard. So you guys have a great day.